So Tanner and Aaron wanted to expand their family. They had one son. They were struggling to get pregnant again. They tried everything. They tried IUI, IVF, egg donors. Nothing worked. It was emotional. It was physically grueling. And this is a story familiar to so many Canadians. In fact, roughly one in six people will face infertility in their lifetime. Tanner and Aaron's experience led them to rethink fertility care and what can be done to make it better for families. Tanner and Aaron Cohara are here to share their story. It's so good to have both of you on the show. Thanks, Thanks for having, having us. us. Let's talk about your story. Aaron, can you tell us a little bit about your journey? Yeah, so, um, so it was a long journey. So it was around four years and we, we went through secondary infertility. So we have a son already and, and then we just struggled to conceive our second child that we always dreamed of. And so um, we did several rounds of IUI, took five rounds. I had a miscarriage in one of those. So that was an emotional trauma that I went through. Um, and then we did a couple rounds of IVF. Um, and then we did, and then that wasn't working. So nothing was working for us. Mm -hmm. So then we, my sister was like, I'll donate my eggs to you. And mm -hmm. I was like, you know, are you sure? And so we had to kind of go through the ins and outs of that. Like, do, is that something we want to do? And so, um, so we did, we went through it and so it didn't work. So then we kind of went to the next step. And, um, so we did an unknown egg donor to conceive our, our, our now daughter. Mm -hmm. Um, but the whole time it was just, it was such a struggle, like an emotional highs and lows and, you know, something you that we wanted to change. Yeah. Were you surprised by the process the two of you going through it? We were, I think we were surprised. Like we were surprised that it was like the secret world. Mm -hmm. um, no one was talking about it. Um, we were surprised that we were, I was struggling to do it. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's something that you don't realize that this happens until you're in the world of it, right? Mm -hmm. And then at that point in time, you realize that, oh, holy smokes, a bunch of my friends have gone through this. Like mm -hmm. one in six Canadians are struggling with, with this every day. And yeah. so uh, it's something that affects a lot of people, but it's not, it's still a taboo subject. You know, kudos to you guys for bringing it out uh, into the open like this, but it's not something that's discussed openly uh, mm -hmm. and honestly. And so that's a, a big part of, of what we're trying to do here today. Yeah, and you and you both saw um, a lacking there when going through your own process. It's yeah. one thing to talk about change happening. It's yeah. another thing to make change, and that's what you did. Tanner, you were in finance. Yes. And then you left that to do what? That's correct. So uh, I came together with two other partners, Zach Shapiro, uh, who was a, a friend of mine, a, a colleague in finance, and then Dr. Rhonda Zwingerman, who is our medical director at TWIG. Um, she's uh, an excellent fertility specialist doctor. The three of us came together and we created Twig Fertility with the idea that we could create a clinic uh, and a company that Aaron and I wish we had when we were going through fertility. So that's mm -hmm. where the, the crux of it all is a focus on the patient, the patient experience. We're obviously very focused on outcomes, uh, also speed to those outcomes. And it's just something where we try to, um, you know, get change it from like a more medical experience to a more personal, uh, individualized experience. Is that what separates Twig? That, that yeah, is a that major, is a major yeah. thing. Yeah, it's a, a major focus on the experience uh, and everything that wraps into that design how people treat you, how people, the, the language that we use ultimately, right? And what do you mean by that in terms of treatment and language? Um, the idea that uh, our intake forms don't just say husband and wife, right? Mm. The idea that there are many ways to build a family. There are individual people who want to build a family without a partner. Uh, so there are just many different ways that people want to build their families this way or prolong their fertility. So egg freezing, sperm freezing, um, you know, if somebody's transitioning, these sorts of things are happening a lot in Canada, and ultimately we want to serve everybody uh, in the in their fertility health. Mm -hmm. It's not just about a heterosexual man and woman, right. um, you know, who are, are struggling in their late 30s to have a, a baby. Right? There are many, many different walks of life. Young people as well who don't know about their fertility. We have something called Fertility Check, and the the idea there is, you know, am I fertile? Should right. I get my sperm checked? Should I get my eggs checked? Right? That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And for very uh, you know, a very quick test, you can you can actually get that done uh, these days. So it's something, it's almost like preventative health right. in a way, right? Inclusive and, it's, and accessible. Yeah, exactly. and, it may, and more mainstream too, right? Because exactly. like I remember, like I would hide, go into a building, oh. do it quick. And I remember having like some of my uh, fertility drugs like at my work, like in a fridge, like right. everything is very secretive. Um, so it's to change the experience and to not feel like a number, um, and just feel seen and heard. And so it's that's lovely to see you. pictures of your beautiful family, yeah. you your much. son and your daughter. Thanks yeah. for sharing this conversation. Yeah. Such an important one to have. Of Tanner course. and Aaron, thank, thank you. you. Awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.